Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am swatching You Have Fucking Destroyed Me by Bees Knees Lacquer. This is the first of my August purchases. I originally thought I'd be able to skip August, but no. And it is all the fault of this polish. I saw the base color and the shimmer and thought I might have found the perfect lion cousin. It is a dark teal base with a bright aqua to magenta shimmer, and in some lights, I think you can see a green. I don't think I've mentioned it before that teals are my first and longest abiding polish addiction. I bought so many teals that I basically had to ban myself from buying any more until I expanded my collection to include at least two more color categories. The color distribution of my collection has since equalized a bit, so the embargo has been lifted, and now I have to be careful just not to dupe myself. And of course, in my first foray out into the wilderness, I may have done just that. I'll have to do a formal comparison of the two polishes just to make sure, but I got close. Look at me doing a good paint job. Not every thumb swatch I do on camera looks very good, but I'm proud of this one. But the polish. This polish is a crystalline lake, the most gorgeous Mediterranean water. It is a jelly, so the hollow shows pretty well. Not to give too much away, it doesn't give as much hollow as the polish on my other hand, but still pretty good. This is just so bright and glowy. I tend to gravitate towards dark blues and quite light blues, so I have a blind spot for mid-tones. I tend to pounce on the ones I like because it isn't very likely to happen that I do like one. Now I did stop in two coats for this one. I expected to put on that second coat and maybe find it uneven on my very wide thumb, but no. She was perfect. She was beautiful. I stopped. In truth, there was a slightly lighter spot on my left side of my nail, but in practice, I barely saw that. The shimmer is quite strong in this polish, so the fact that I hadn't gotten quite as much base on that portion really did not matter in practice. You will see it here under the lights and in certain angles as we go through the footage, but I think a lot of people can get away with two with this. We are going to head outside into the sunshine in a second, and I just wanted to talk about the color of the shimmer. Inside, in the LED lights, the main color is aqua. As we get outside, you will see that as I move around to my left, you will get some magenta and some green. For me, both the green and magenta are hard to see. They aren't very extroverted here. You can see the green at the tips of my nails and the magenta sometimes in the middle as I'm lifting my fingers. You might have to pause to actually see them. If I have a secret goth hidden inside me, which I do, then I also have a not-so-secret ice queen in there battling for control as well. Uh, I won't mention the clown within me that says, yeah, it's cute, but could it be weirder? This polish activates my love of icy blues and whites. Uh, I will spend my time in an elaborate chair plotting my revenge. On what? I have no idea. Maybe the concept of coffee pods. I don't drink coffee because it makes me twitchy, it gives me insomnia, but the pods seem ridiculously wasteful. If you feel attacked, I'm not angry at you. I realize all of us are subject to whatever types of products are available to us and we can afford. I'm more angry that a process that can actually be pretty environmental gets turned into a wasteful one with a single-use plastic and all for instant coffee, which actually has very little waste at the user end. If this is a rant you weren't prepared for, I am sorry. And yes, this is the even-keeled version of me. Imagine me clutching a mug with my eyelid fluttering while yelling, we should climb a mountain. That is me on caffeine. I'm not dangerous, unless you count shin splints, but I am a bit much. Although, apparently, I will moan at you about how you make coffee. Now that we're in the shade, I think the magenta portion of the shimmer is pretty easy to see. It flashes as I move my fingers up and down. But 
the green, I think, takes on a more holistic look where you don't just see a sliver of it. I think it just gives the whole nail a more greenish cast. Now that we're inside again, I think the magenta portion of the shimmer has become less obvious and it's receded a little bit into the background. And that aqua is still the most obvious of all the shimmers, so I really haven't mentioned it much. I think as I move my nails over to my left, again towards the window, you can see the green shimmer at the sides of my nails. I do think this is a very good peacock color. I think it helps with that tealish iridescence in their feathers. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate it when anyone watches my videos. Please enjoy a clip of my squirrel who is frightened enough to hide from me underneath the barbecue, but not scared enough to actually leave. Oh, hi, squirrel. You know I'm terrifying. You're right. You're right. On what? I have no idea. Uh, maybe the concept of coffee pods. I don't drink coffee because it makes me twitchy and gives me insomnia. But the pods seem ridiculously wasteful. And also, why go through all that rigmarole for instant coffee? You could just get instant coffee and flavorings. I don't know. I just don't understand. I've now turned into Jerry... I almost said Jerry Springer. That's even funnier. God, do I have to start doing outtakes?